Hi everyone, welcome to the Her Sacred Place channel. Today we will be discussing how tampons affect overall vaginal health. If you haven't already, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel so you will be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Alrighty then, let's talk tampons. So let's talk about what are tampons. Tampons are used as a method to absorb a woman's menstrual flow during her period and are designed to be inserted into the vagina with or without an applicator. Today's tampons are made of cotton, rayon, or a blend of the two. Once inserted correctly, it is held in place by the vagina and expands as it soaks up the menstrual blood. However, in addition to blood, it also absorbs the vagina's natural lubrication and bacteria which may affect the vagina's natural pH and lead to a possible infection. According to the FDA, tampons are regulated as a medical device and each tampon should only be used once. It is believed that tampon use has been around for thousands of years within the Egyptian, Roman, and Japanese cultures where soft papyrus, wool, or paper was used to plug the vagina. In the early 1920s, an employee for Kimberly Clark, manufacturer of the Kotex brand, pitched an idea for a tampon by stuffing a condom filled with holes with absorbent portion of the menstrual pad. However, his idea was quickly shut down. In 1933, Earl Haas obtained a patent for the modern day tampon we see with the applicator and sold it to the owner of Procter & Gamble. She then created the first brand, Tampax, by combining the word tampon with vaginal packs. During this time, however, there was a social discomfort with the idea of women touching themselves near the vagina because it was thought they would be pleasuring themselves. So Haas developed an applicator to keep the women from having to touch themselves. Throughout the years, applicators generally made from cardboard or plastic became unpopular due to them not being biodegradable and harsh on the environment. So, in 1945, a German gynecologist developed a tampon that did not require an applicator, otherwise known as a digital tampon, naming this brand OB. During the 1980s, tampons were found to be associated with toxic shock syndrome. It is believed this caused the increase in regulations and safety protocol testing that we see today for the current FDA requirements. In the late 1990s, it was found that tampon manufacturers were using dioxin, a known carcinogen in their rayon bleaching process. Speaking of dioxins, there may be plenty of chemicals, dyes, and pesticides found in your typical tampon, especially those made with rayon. Rayon comes from wood pulp, so it's brown in its natural state. During the bleaching process to turn it white, chemicals may be used. Recent studies have found carbon disulfide, xylene, methylene chloride, styrene, parabens, phthalates, pesticides, and chloroforming tampons. Do you know why none of these chemicals have to be disclosed on the labeling? Well, I already told you. Tampons are considered medical devices by the FDA, so they are not subject to ingredient labeling. While it has been noted that the levels of chemicals found are very, very low, look at it from this perspective. The average tampon user uses about 11 to 12,000 tampons in her lifetime for 5 to 10 days monthly over the course of decades. The vagina is not like the skin. It is very absorbent and permeable, so anything inserted is absorbed entered into the bloodstream and may be stored in fat cells. So this constant buildup over time can contribute to toxic levels of chemicals within the body, thus resulting in cancer and many other vaginal issues. During my time of helping those with womb issues, I have noticed that frequent tampon users suffer from very painful cramping during the period, dark colored period blood, very clotted period blood, fibroids, endometriosis, frequent infections, and vaginal infections monthly right after their period has ended. When a client comes to me with any womb imbalances, the first question I ask is if they use tampons and highly recommend they stop if they say yes. Once beginning the monthly steaming plan and stopping tampon use, my clients tend to get rid of their imbalances and restart their path to a healthy womb and vagina, especially as it relates to period problems. While I am an advocate of absolutely no tampon use, I understand that many women find them much more convenient than pads, whether it relates to their career, hobbies, or lifestyle choices. So here are a few recommendations to consider for those who must continue to use tampons. Number one, 
minimize use if you must continue to wear tampons at all minimize how often or long you wear them you are going if you're going to be home for a few hours take the tampon out and wear an all-natural menstrual pad instead only wear a tampon if you feel you absolutely must wear it i know you may like not like the pad at first but it is worth it for your vaginal health Number two, never use tampons with a fragrance. No matter what you do, never ever use any period product that has a fragrance to it. Always choose an unscented product. Number three, never sleep overnight in tampons. You should never wear a tampon more than four to eight hours according to the FDA. I actually tell women to change their tampon as frequently as every four hours, even if you feel as though you do not have to. Wearing tampons too long increases the risk of toxic shock syndrome. Speaking of how long to wear tampons, this leads us to number four. Only, only use the absorbency that matches your flow. If you can wear one tampon up to eight hours without changing it, the absorbency may be too high and you should immediately change it to a lower absorbency. Higher absorbent tampons have been linked to an increased risk of toxic shock syndrome also. Number five, wash your hands before and after inserting or removing a tampon. This is general health wellness that helps reduce the spread of bacteria into the vagina. And last but not least, only use tampons during your period. Never use tampons when you are not menstruating. It is not healthy to use a tampon for increased vaginal discharge charge or to rid yourself of infection. Trust me, it does not work. It will only make your situation work. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you gained some important tampon knowledge that can help you on your journey from transitioning from tampons to pads. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if there are any topics you would like me to discuss in the future. Until next time, happy steaming.